Closing arguments will begin tomorrow morning. Then the jury will decide the fate of Joseph Duncan. But jurors will likely have a long night after what they saw in court today. It is something no one in that courtroom ever wanted to see, a videotape depicting the torture of a young boy in a remote cabin in the Montana wilderness. While the video is extremely disturbing, it is the absolute key piece of evidence prosecutors can use to send Joseph Duncan to death row. KXLY 4's Melissa Luck is here. And Melissa, an extraordinarily difficult day for everyone who was in that courtroom. Yeah, Robin, and for us it was a photographer who was not there to take pictures but to note the content of the video and more importantly the jury's reaction to what they saw. We have known much of the content of this video for some time but have not reported it until it was made an official record of the court. We want to warn you, while we're not reporting all of the extremely graphic details, this information may be disturbing. This is what the old mining cabin looked like in October 2005, three months after Duncan made his torturous video here of nine-year-old Dylan. We learned today just how much torture actually took place. Jurors in this case saw three videos shot inside this cabin, two showing Duncan sexually abusing Dylan. Then a third, decidedly more graphic. Before anything takes place, Duncan says, God, this child, this boy does not deserve to die. Then, Duncan hangs Dylan from a beam in the center of the cabin for his own sexual gratification. Several minutes later, Duncan brings Dylan down, the young boy, barely alive. Duncan shouts, listen boy, I just saved you. I saved your soul, okay? Dylan, in obvious pain, cries and prays, while Duncan sings and continues to rant. He says, God, what is going on here? I don't understand. I'm getting sick of your games. To Dylan, he says, the devil is here, boy. The devil is a lot like a god. The devil knows everything. The devil sees everything. The devil likes to watch children suffer and cry. Finally, Duncan tells Dylan he's going to take him to the hospital. He tells him his dad will be there when he wakes up. The tape ends with Duncan carrying Dylan out of the cabin. And when the tape was shown, some of the jurors cried. At least one held her hand over her mouth. All of them, though, watched the video. Some of them maybe looked away for a minute, but they watched, likely knowing how absolutely crucial it was to this case. I don't know how they could. No. And Melissa, you have actually been in that cabin. What was that like? It's, just, it's disturbing to see it now and to hear the context. We had known basically what happened there before we went there. Um, and even, even not knowing all the specifics and not seeing the video, just being there, it's very remote. It's not a place you get to by accident. You know that especially if a child's being brought there by someone like Joseph Duncan, that he absolutely has to be terrified before anything happens. And it's just amazing now, to, three years later, to hear that these jurors are being subjected to this. We're trying to find out if those jurors are going to be offered counseling, uh, what's available so. for them, um, but they're going to have a rough night tonight before they start their deliberations I don't tomorrow. I they're going to be able to sleep at all. Yeah. Right, Melissa, thanks so much.